Hello Spring fans, so today is the day with Spring 3.0 GA released and I wanted to take the opportunity to take a first look with you at this version. So without further ado, let's dive in. So if we take a look at my GitHub page, we can see that we have five examples here and I can tell you that all of these samples not only work with Spring 3.0, they also work with native mode. So this is for true for a Spring application with JPA, with MongoDB, also batch application, RabbitMQ. But today we will focus on the most simple application, which is just a simple REST application, because there's already enough we can take a look at. Also, at this point, a massive thanks to this guy, who really helped us to get along with ARM support for native images. Thumbs up for this guy, really cool guy. Okay, then let's take a look at the IDE. So first and foremost, we will start with uh, how to build native images. We have two options here. So with Maven, there is a profile that we have to tick, which is Docker image native. And then we can just say clean install and it will create the Docker image, the native image for us. However, it is of course required for this to have Docker running because the build will run inside Docker with Paketo. The fun part is um, that it doesn't matter if you have an Intel CPU or an Apple Silicon CPU, it will automatically detect the architecture and build the appropriate image. So if you run Intel on x86, it will build a native x86 image for you. If you have an Apple Silicon, it will automatically build an ARM image for you. Other option, of course, is Cradle. With Cradle, it's similar, but a little different. Here we have two options. We have the same option here, which is Docker image native, which will give us a native image with the Paketo build in Docker. And we also have the option to just do a native compile, which is this task here. For this, you need to have Crawl VM installed locally. So be sure to have that running. Um, the benefit here is that you have much faster round trips, uh, but you will always build an image for your specific computer, which is usually less desirable than having a container image. So both options are possible. I will not build this uh, image in the demo. So what we will do, I already have some pre-built images. Uh, what we need to go is to source to deploy Docker. And there we can now just say stack up minus native. And this will not only run the native image for us, it will also auto detect if we are on ARM, Apple Silicon, or if we are on x86, and it will uh, get the appropriate image there. So application is started. Let's take a look at the memory usage. And we see here, this native image consumes 30 megabytes of RAM. That is much less than a standard JVM application, which usually takes up 200, 300 megabytes of RAM. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at the application. Close this page here. So this is a standard service here. So uh, we have a health endpoint. We have a Prometheus endpoint, which gives us Prometheus. We have Open API here. And we also have some simple REST endpoints. So I have say my name, which says the name, say my other name. And also on the backend side, there is some kind of aspect running that gives us some information every time a method is called. And as you see, all of this is running with a native image. What we also got is Jaeger support. So every time I do a REST request, we will have something in Jaeger here. Um, it doesn't matter uh, if it's Jaeger. It can also be any other compatible tracing application like Grafana Tempo and other stuff. Um, so this is our traces we get in here. Currently Spring has the thing that it's also creating if you have Spring Security on the path, Spring Security filter chain, which I don't would like to have. Um, in theory, we could disable this, but there is currently an issue open that I hope will be solved in the future. Okay, 
that's Jäger tracing. So back to our welcome page. And let's take a look at the different nuts and bolts that we need to get all of this running. So let's start with the Cradle file here. So this is a standard Cradle file. What we need for the native build is um, this entry here for build plugins native. And also down below for the native build, we need this section of the boot build image, which will leverage uh, the multi-arc builder that gives us either a native image for ARM or for Intel x86. There's some other mumbo jumbo here, which basically after the image is built, will bootstrap the image to verify that it's working. Um, so what else have we got? We have Spring Boot Starter Web, which is expected. We have Spring Boot Starter Actuator. We have uh, Prometheus running. And now for the tracing part, there is a change here in Spring 3.0. This is not anymore done by Sleuth, but this is now done by Micrometer. So we need two new dependencies here uh, by Micrometer, which is Tracing Bridge Brave and Zipkin Reporter Brave. For Open API support, there is also a new dependency, which is called Open API Starter Web MVC in version 2.0. And the other things haven't changed a lot. We have security and we also have AOP. So taking a look at the application YAML, what is a little bit different here? <clears throat> For the open API support, it's important that we have this property here, spring.enable native support, true, to have native image support. And for the tracing part, um, basically it's an entirely new implementation and we have some deviations here from Spring 2.0. This is just the endpoint. So if you have Jaeger locally running like I have, um, this is the standard here. Then uh, we have the probability. So this means that every trace will be put to Jaeger and not only every 10th uh, request. And then we have the propagation type, which has changed. This was previously B3, which is compatible with Spring.boot 2.0 and also currently Istio. And this has changed to W3C. So if you want to have backwards compatibility, you need to set this one. And then there's also the property if we want to enable and or disable tracing. Uh, the default is true. However, please keep in mind with native images, this becomes a compile property. So if we have a native image running, it is not possible to disable tracing afterwards it's compiled. So if we set this to true and we compile our native image, it will always be true, which means if you don't have Jaeger running, you get some exceptions there in the background and cannot be disabled. Okay. What else have we got to take a look here? Um, What's also important, if you update to Spring 3.0, uh, there was a change. Previously, we had packages that were prefixed with Java X, and these now have to be replaced with Jakarta because Spring 3.0 is now depending on uh, Jakarta E9. So usually what you need to do is something like this. You go to your application, replace in files, and then you say Java X to Jakarta. Um, please keep in mind, for whatever reasons, not everything Java X has been replaced by Jakarta. Um, there are some things, for example, like Java X data source, uh, which is still Java X, but you will see that. So basically, this is a compile safe change. If you did the change and everything compiles, that's just fine. Um, then we have our duration logger, that's that guy here, which is an aspect that's around our methods here, which gets called. Um, there are some two things that we need to consider here. One thing is that this is the first time that we need to set a so-called uh, application runtime hint. This is done by implementing a static class, which is runtime registrar. And then we need to set a reflection hint here. In this case, we this is just the class name. And then we say, please open this for 
uh, declared methods. So um, this is currently required to have aspects running. There is also an open issue for a little bit better support for aspects, but that's, that's currently the story here. And also it's only currently working for one concrete class. So uh, you really have to say, I want to have my aspect around Corley logic, which is here. And it will then currently only work for that. It's not possible to have a wildcard here like this. like this but um yeah I, there is an open issue and i i think the spring people are working is to get this working um last but not least um if you want to do rest calls from another application this is done here in a, in a test so there is a small test that will do a rest call and for doing a rest call um, we we need a configuration class. There is also a small change, at least if you want your other application also to be instrumented by tracing. It's now very, very important that uh, you have this REST template builder here injected and not REST template because for the tracing part to work, it is important that the builder gets instrumented. So former times, what I usually did was something like this, new REST template builder, but this cannot work. So please keep in mind, you have to inject the REST template builder. But other than that, everything is working. Again, health endpoint, very nice, Prometheus, open API. So everything tracing and of course, our Jäger tracing. Okay, everybody, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for joining. If you want to know more details, because this was just a very brief first look, there are other videos on my channel for the release candidate and milestone we had before, which go into more details concerning native images. But for now, thank you very much for joining and I see you in the next video. Bye.